So this might very well be one of the most important segments of the advanced classes. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a bunch of photos and I'm going to show you some of these enhancement features. So let's go ahead and start. Let's go into our photo bin first. And let's start with this one here. All of you probably have taken a photo where it's a little bit too dark and you really need to lighten those faces. Sometimes the eyes are squinty, sometimes someone's not smiling, so let's try this out. I am going to go into Enhance, and there's always five or six ways you can do this, but I'm just going to show you which way I would do it. I'm going to go to Enhance, Adjust Lighting, and Levels. Oops, you know what I'm going to do first though? I'm going to make a copy of this so that we can see the before and after. Sorry about that. <laughs> now let's go back in to Enhance and adjust lighting and levels. You can go Control L to get there faster. Now I'm gonna take this little slider and I'm gonna move it to the left hand side. That's gonna lighten up areas. I'm also gonna take this middle slider and I'm gonna lighten it up too. Now we can go as far as we want to. I'm probably gonna keep it right about there because I don't want it to be washed out. See how the clouds are starting to wash out? So you have to be really kind of careful with that. Here's the before, here's the after. I think it looks a lot better already. So I'm gonna click on OK. The next thing I wanna show you is everybody's somewhat smiling here, but if someone wasn't smiling, what you can do is go to Enhance and there's a new feature called Adjust Facial Features in version 15. Go ahead into that. And it's so cool because it finds each face. And right now it has my husband's face selected because it's in blue right there. But if I zoom in, let's just zoom in a little bit, I can go in here and take the smile. We're in the lips area. I can push that to the right and give him a little bit more of a smile. Now that looks kind of funny. This is how it was before right there. But I want it to be a little bit of a smile, just a tad bit more. And then you can play around with the width and height of the lips, but I think I'm gonna keep it as is. Maybe I'll do it a little bit like that. I don't know, we'll see. And you can also open up the eyes just a bit. Sometimes it makes it look really weird, but I just maybe nudge them just a tiny bit. See, here's the before. And here's the after, and we'll see it more so when we get to our final. You can play around with all the other things, but let's just say we wanna go ahead and work on me next. Now let's pull that up, let's go to my lips, let's smile just a little bit more, just a little bit more, and then maybe my eyes need to be opened a little bit more. There we go, much better. Then I'm gonna to go to my little guy, and I'm going to take his lips. You have to be careful for which layer you're on or which one you're working with. And let's just make him smile a tiny bit more and then make his eyes open just a little bit more. And I'm going to go back to myself because I just noticed that there is a nose adjustment and I've always wanted to have a skinnier, smaller nose. So I just noticed this. We have a nose piece here. So I'm going to change the height. Let's see. Oops. First click on the highlighted face. Okay, oops, sorry. I click on the highlighted face. Um, width, I want it to come down in size, so let's go width. Oh yeah, that's awesome. See the before, and here's the after. I love it. Plastic surgery no more, right? And then, I don't know if I need to shorten it up at all. Right about there is good. The face, you can make it wider which actually I kind of want a wider face on this one. I mean, I probably wouldn't do all this stuff to every one of my photos, but since we're talking about this now, I went ahead and did that. So let's zoom in and watch what happens when we turn the layer off below and on. There's the before and here's the after. I'm kind of looking at my nose and the smiles and the eyes and it's hard to kind of see because it is so dark, but there is a pretty good difference. So that's another area in the Enhance that you might want to play around with. Hi everyone, I just wanted to personally thank you for allowing me to be part of your Digi Scrap journey. I also have a quick question for you. What are some of the things that stop you uh, from learning Photoshop elements? Or maybe I should put it this way. What do you find you struggle with most when you're working in Photoshop Elements or trying to do digital scrapbooking. Please post in the comments below 
and I will try to get to them and also maybe I will make a quick video about your subject that you are struggling most with. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye for now.